What's up, and Nex? This is Tech the Naked Knives from AndroidTechTheBoxPod.com, and I'm going to be showing you the ROM review of Jelly Bro on Galaxy Nexus, GSM, Ryzen, and Sprint. So right away, if you want to know how to install it, you can look right there on how to install it onto your Galaxy Nexus, GSM, or GSM, Ryzen, or Sprint phone for Galaxy Nexus. And right away, I want to tell you off, this is a great ROM, very stable, very good. Now, many other Jelly Bean ROMs, lately haven't been very stable but this one is one of the very first that have become very stable I am guilty of using this over over vacation for about three days and this ROM has worked flawlessly no problems at all worked great very responsive very fast as you can see there's never lag you know there was always some some sort of lag you'd always sense using SM sandwich on Galaxy Nexus but now there is none at all so once you flip through pages and all that it's really smooth from Butter projects, so Apple has, or not <laughs> Apple, I hate Apple. Google has done outdone themselves by making a buttery smooth phone or RAM, I guess, jelly bean. So it's great overall, I love it. And let's just take a quick quadrant score of how it does. Let's run the full benchmark and let's see how well it performs. Now, this RAM isn't made for performance, it's made more for stability and just customization all this. Not a lot of customization, but a, a small amount of customization as you can see right away that you have the notification, the four widget toggle or whatever. So there is some sort of accessibility make to easier, but it's not made for performance. But let's take a look at this and I'll be back when this is done. Okay, it's done, so let's take us yes, and let's see the results. So your device scored 2,200, so it's right there, as you can see, hopefully this gets better, there we go, 2,200, and you can see all the scores right there, so this isn't the very best, but it's okay, I guess you could say. It did score under the default Samsung Galaxy Nexus, so like I told you before, this phone isn't made for performance, it's made for more, just make it look nice and all that, so I would really highly recommend you use this one, let's just take a look in settings so you can see that. I would really high, highly recommend if you're still an ice cream sandwich, get this from. You can just use it installing Clock of Recovery and you can get everything, all the links and everything on how to install it right there. So watch that. As you can see, it's on 4.1. So watch that video and then you can know how to get Jelly Bean on your phone. So it's it's a great RAM, flawless. It's I haven't had one problem with it yet. Everything works, everything's functional. So I love it. It's very smooth. That's my favorite part. The smooth from Jelly Beans is Butter Project. So this is a great RAM. A big, big thumbs up for this RAM. It works flawlessly. Very stable. Anybody can use it. Anyone with business, contacting friends and all that. This is used, This is for daily use. Great RAM. Very user friendly. So this is a great RAM. Big thumbs up once again. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and for subscribe if you want more videos, ROM reviews, how to install, how to root, unlock Mac, Windows, all that good stuff for Android. I do only Android videos, so don't forget to subscribe and if you wanna if you want to contact me for any reason, you can get me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. All links in the description. You can follow me, like me, and add me to your circles and I'll add you back to your circles and I'll follow you back again. And for emergencies you can contact me at technic9 at gmail.com. See you next video guys and I'll respond with 24 hours. See you next video.